is American English Sencho. Take your book, Personality Development Stories. The Crow and the Peacock is the story. Your grandmother must have told you. Your grandfather might have told you. The Crow stories. The stories of Crow are very famous, isn't it, sir? The Crow and the Peacock. The Crow and the Peacock. So the story is, you know what you mean by peacock? You know what you mean by crow? The crow and the peacock. Story number 11, video number 11. A crow was absolutely satisfied in life. A crow was absolutely satisfied in life, right? So among the birds, which is the bird which is highly respected? You know that? Which crow? Thinking about your ancestor, you give food. Who's that? Whom are you giving? You call ka 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 and you call them and you ask them to eat the food and you are offering the food for whom? For your dead elders. The crow is an important bird but sometimes we think it's cheap, isn't it? Why? It is black. So crow, crow is black so we think it is a cheap bird. No, a crow was absolutely satisfied in life but one day he saw a swan. What do you mean by swan sir? A bird? With a long neck, white color, swan. One, but one day he saw a swan. This swan is so white. So the crow has an inferiority complex. I am looking black. The swan is so white. And I am so black. Crow thought, oh, this swan must be the happiest bird in this world. So crow thought, so this swan must be the happiest bird in this world. Because it is so white. He expresses thoughts to swan. Actually, the swan replied. So the crow told, you must be the happiest person. You must be the lucky because you are so white. I am so black. And he says, the swan says, I was feeling that I was the happiest bird around until I saw a parrot. So the swan thought, I was thinking I am the happiest person. I am the luckiest person. But when I saw a parrot, what color is the parrot? Green color. When I saw the parrot, which has two colors. The parrot has two colors. What are they? I now think the parrot is the happiest bird in creation. So the swan said, no, no, I am not the happiest. I am not the luckiest. Parrot is the luckiest because it has two colors. The crow, crow approached the parrot. The parrot explained. So the crow once again goes to the parrot and asks, you must be the luckiest person in the world. And the parrot says, I lived a very happy life. I was living a happy life until I saw a peacock. It said, I saw a peacock. The peacock has different colors. You know that? It dances. When does it dance? When it's about to rain. When there is uh, about something like, you know, rainbows, occur, this peacock dances. And I have only two colors, but the peacock has multiple colors. So the parrot says, I have only two colors, but peacock has hundreds of colors. The crow then visited a peacock in the zoo. In the zoo, mind you, the crow went and saw the peacock and saw the hundreds of people had gathered to see him. So a lot of people are seeing the peacock in the zoo. So, the crow says, after the people had left, the crow approached the peacock and asked the peacock, Dear peacock, you are so beautiful. You look so beautiful. Every day, thousands of people come to see you. Oh, peacock, thousands of people come and see you. When people see me, they immediately shoo me away. What do you mean by shoo me? They started shouting, shoo, shoo, shoo. So, you are the lucky bird. Thousands of people coming to zoo to see you peacock. But whenever I come, people say, chu, chu, chu. I think you are the happiest bird on the planet. I think you are the happiest bird on the planet. Who says? The peacock says. Now immediately, what did that? Um, yes, uh, uh, the peacock replied. I always thought I was the most beautiful and happy bird on the planet. But because of my beauty, I am the most beautiful bird. Who is the most beautiful bird? Peacock is the most beautiful bird in the world. I thought. I was happy. I was enjoying. But because of my beauty. beauty because I am beautiful. I am entrapped in the zoo. People caught me and put me into the zoo. Because I am very beautiful. So I have examined the zoo very carefully. I saw the zoo.
and I've realized that the crow is the only bird not kept in cage. All the birds are there in the cage. Man caught all the birds and put it in the cage. Have you ever seen any man putting a crow in the cage? No. Only bird which enjoys the freedom is crow. All the birds are enslaved, entrapped, put into zoo, put into a cage. But only bird who is free, enjoying freedom is crow. So, I have realized that the crow is the only bird not kept in the cage. Who says? Peacock says. So, for the past few days, I have been thinking. Peacock, peacock is thinking that if I wear a crow. So, the peacock is thinking, if alone I am a crow. I could roam everywhere happily I can fly. Happily I can fly. That is our problem too. We also have the same problem. What is that? We make unnecessary comparison with others and become sad. Your neighbor buys a car, you are feeling sad. One girl is so beautiful, then other girl you feel uh, inferior. He is uh, white and you are dark, you feel sad. He is a Japanese who is tall, I am an Indian who is short, I am jealous about him. I am jealous about American. No, the same problem is with us also, right? We feel jealous about, we want to be like others. He is having a car, but he also has the same problem, right? So, finally, what? One big multimillionaire, you ask. The beggar he sees in the street. Oh, that beggar is so happily living his life. Freedom, without any responsibilities. I wish I be like a beggar. The beggar will think I should be like a rich man. Rich man is thinking, let me be like a beggar. So, this is the problem with us in life. We make unnecessary comparison with others and become sad. We don't value what God has given us. God has given us beautiful things in us. This all leads to the vicious cycle of unhappiness. So when you go for comparison, the vicious cycle means cycle unhappiness. Value the things God has given us. So what has God has given us? Beautiful land, good health. You are able to see, you are able to hear, you are able to listen. Everything is there. Value that. Learn the secret of being happy and discard the comparison. Never compare you with anybody. When you go for comparison, what will happen? Sadness, unhappiness, mysteries, which leads only to unhappiness. So, my dear friends, this is our dear today life. A crow was there. She was unhappy. So, she wants to be like a swan because the swan is white. Swan says, no, I want to be like a parrot. So, he goes, crow goes to the parrot. Parrot says, no, I have only two colors, but the most beautiful bird is peacock. It goes to the peacock and the peacock says, oh my God, I am enslaved. I am trapped. I am the most, most beautiful bird. But what to do? Human beings have kept me in the zoo. Not only me, I see all the birds in the cage except crow. I want to be like a crow. Who says? Peacock says to crow. Only then crow understands the value. Only then crow understands what it is all about. So, human beings like us, we shouldn't compare. We should be satisfied with what we have. We should be thankful for what are the resources and gifts God has given to us. Hope you are able to understand. Are you understand? able to understand? Yes, I request uh, this young lady to come forward and tell what she is able to understand about this philosophy about the story in short yes please come forward madam you can look at the camera and you can see this is a real life situational stories these are the stories which has to change your life so these stories are the moral stories yes hi guys everyone have unique talents we we have to understand what are all the unique talents and we, we have to satisfy with these things What happened? Story. Say the story. Okay. The, the story between about crow. One day crow saw swan. Uh, that crow thought uh, swan only the happiest bird in the world. Uh, the crow went, uh, went to swan and asked, uh, you are the happiest bird in the world, right? Uh, that time swan said, yes, I am the happiest bird in the world until I saw parrot. Because parrot has two colors. I have only one color. Uh, then crow, crow went to 
parrot uh, and asked parrot you are the happiest bird in the world right uh, parrot said yes i am the happiest bird in the, the world until i saw peacock, peacock. Uh, we, uh, suddenly uh, crow went to peacock uh, dear peacock you are the happiest bird in the world right uh, peacock said yes i am so beautiful i have multiple colors with me uh, so uh, i i kept in zoo and everyone came to uh, came to me to visit uh, and, and then they they choose me uh, the, then a uh, peacock said i am not a happiest bird in the world because i i kept in zoo in the cabbage uh, and then uh, if, if uh, i i want to be like a crow if i wear a crow i would roam anywhere you are only the happiest bird in the world the story moral is uh, we don't want to compare with anyone we have unique talents we have to satisfy with this good yes you gentlemen come forward wire be careful wire come forward jump hi friends i am here to give a short story about the crow and the peacock the crow is satisfied uh, satisfied in his life with what he what he had uh, but when one day when he saw the swan uh, Uh, she uh, it it becomes very sad and become jealous also uh, because uh, the swan is very white uh, but the crow is very black uh, it was so black uh, he, he went to the, uh, he came to the decision and said that uh, swan is the only bird which is happy, uh, which is happiest in the in the life uh, but he went to swan and asked about the reason uh, you are the bird, most beautiful bird in the world uh, but the swan replied i also think that as much uh, as you said like that i am the happiest bird in the world but uh, but until i see, see the parrot i i i went, i am very happy but when on seeing the parrot i was sad because it i have only one color white only white but the parrot has two colors uh, i think it is the happiest bird in the world then crow made the decision that the parrot is the happiest parrot is the happiest bird in the world and he went on, went to meet the parrot uh, he went to the parrot and asked the reason the parrot said i also think i am the happiest bird in the world until i have met the peacock because uh, peacock has multiple colors and hundreds of people visit him per, uh, per day uh, then uh, then crow make the decision that the peacock is the only happiest bird in the world then he went to meet the uh, peacock at the zoo uh, he, at the zoo he, he saw that the peacock was peacock was surrounded by hundreds of visitors in the visitors uh, after the visitors had left he went to the peacock and he and he asked about the reason the peacock said hi uh, yes you as you said i am the happiest bird in the world until until i saw you what me a uh, epic a crow was shocked what you are asking about you are saying that me i am the happiest bird in the world a uh, peacock was just uh, crow was just just shocked he asked the reason why you are saying that i am the happiest bird in the world because uh, I, even though i am very ha- uh, very beauty beautiful uh, i have been entrapped in the zoo but you are uh, but i uh, just went for pa- past days and uh, came to conclusion uh, and i have examined the zoo Uh, all the birds have been entrapped and i uh, kept in a cage but you are the only bird have been left uh, left free uh, you are you are free to move here and there and we are, you are uh, even though people say uh, on seeing you they show they said shu shu but uh, you are the happiest bird you, uh, you you can move here here and there where you, where, what you want this is the this is the fact about the world uh, people are uh, people are more jealous and making and making a making comparison with the others what they have uh, people should uh, make uh, make decisions with what they have and uh, just happy for that good nanbrile yes american angela vagupukalukku varaveerkiram ungalude agathai book ah eduthukollungal video number 11 idu oru kadai indha kadai enna solugirathu naam namakku irukka koodiyada vaithu sandoshamagum magilchiyagum vaala vendum மற்றவர்களை பார்த்து பொறாமைப்படக்கூடாது ஏக்ரோ காகமும் பீகாக் பீகாக் என்றால் என்ன தமிழிலே மயில் ஒரு காக்கையும் மயிலும் உடைய கதை ஒரு காக்கை தான் கருப்பாக இருக்கிறோம் என்று கோபித்து கொண்டு சங்கடப்பட்டு வருத்தப்பட்டு வேதனைப்பட்டு ஒரு அன்னப்பறவையிடம் செல்கிறது அன்னப்பறவை வெள்ளையாக இருக்கிறது ஸோ இந்த காக்கை அந்த அன்னப்பறவையிடம் சொல்கிறது நீ வெள்ளையாக இருக்கிறாய் நான் கருப்பாக இருக்கிறேன் நீ கொடுத்து வைத்தவள் உனக்கு அழகு இருக்கிறது சிறப்பு இருக்கிறது ரொம்ப பிரமாதமாக இருக்கிறது 
என்று இந்த காக்கை அன்னப்பறவையை பார்த்து சொல்ல அன்னப்பறவை சொல்கிறது நானும் அதை போன்று தான் நினைத்து கொண்டிருந்தேன் ஆனால் ஒரு கிளியை பார்த்தேன் அந்த கிளி இரண்டு நிறங்குடையதாக இருக்கிறது அழகாக இருக்கிறது ஆக நான் அழகானவள் என்று நினைத்து கொண்டிருந்தேன் ஆனால் இப்பொழுது கிளி மிக அழகாக இருக்கிறது என்று இந்த அன்னப்பறவை சொல்கிறது ஸோ இந்த காக்கை அந்த கிளியிடம் சொல்கிறது அந்த கிளி என்ன சொல்கிறது நான் அழகானவள் என்று நினைத்து கொண்டிருந்தேன் ஆனால் என்னை விட அழகான பறவைகளில் அழகான ஒரு மயில் இருக்கிறது அந்த மயில் போன்று நான் இருந்தேன் என்றால் சந்தோஷமாக இருக்கும் என்று அந்த அந்த கிளி சொல்ல இந்த காகை அந்த மயிலிடம் செல்கிறது மயில் எங்கே இருக்கிறது ஒரு வனவிலங்கு சரணாலயத்திலே இருக்கிறது அங்கே சென்று பூங்காவிலே இருக்கிறது மக்கள் நூற்றுக்கணக்கான மக்கள் அந்த மயிலை பார்த்து ரசிக்கிறார்கள் ஸோ இந்த காக்கை அந்த மயிலிடம் சென்று நீங்கள் கொடுத்து வர் அழகானவர் ரசிக்கக்கூடியது நீங்கள் இப்படி இருப்பது எனக்கு பெருமையாக இருக்கிறது நானும் உங்களை போன்று ஆக வேண்டும் என்று விரும்புகிறேன் என்று மயிலை பார்த்து இந்த காக்கை சொல்ல மயில் சொல்கிறது அனைத்தும் பொய் நானும் இதுவரைக்கும் நான் தான் சிறந்த அழகான பறவைகளிலே அழகான பறவை என்று நினைத்து கொண்டிருந்தேன் இதுவரை ஆனால் பார் என் நிலைமையை என் அழகை அவர்கள் கூண்டுக்குள்ளே அடைத்து வைத்து விட்டார்கள் என்னை மட்டுமல்ல அனைத்து பறவைகளையும் கூண்டுக்குள் அடைத்து வைத்திருக்கிறார்கள் காகையை தவிர காக்கா ஒரு பறவைதான் கூண்டிலே அடைக்கப்படாத பறவையாக இருக்கிறது வானத்திலே சுதந்திரமாக சுற்றி திரிகிறது மற்ற அனைத்து பறவைகளும் இங்கே கூண்டுக்குள் சிறையாக இருக்கிறது ஆக எனக்கு ஒரு பிறவி என்று வர வேண்டுமென்றால் நான் காக்கையாக பிறக்க ஆசைப்படுகிறேன் என்று அந்த அழகான மயில் சொல்கிறது இருக்கிற பறவைகளிலே அழகானது மயில் ஆனால் அந்த மயில் சொல்கிறது நான் காக்கையாக இருக்க வேண்டும் என்று காக்கை அப்பொழுது தான் தன்னுடைய அருமையை உணர்ந்து கொள்கிறது கருப்பாக இருந்தாலும் நாம் கிளியை போன்று இல்லாவிட்டாலும் அன்னப்பறவையை போன்று இல்லாவிட்டாலும் மயிலை போன்று அழகாக இல்லாவிட்டாலும் நாம் கருப்பாக இருந்தாலும் நமக்கு சுதந்திரம் இருக்கிறது அதை போன்று நாம் அனைவரும் நம்மளுடைய அருமை பெருமைகளை அறியாமல் மற்றவர்கள் மேல் பொறாமைப்படுகிறோம் பக்கத்து வீட்டுக்காரர் மேல் பொறாமைப்படுகிறோம் மற்றவர்கள் சொந்தக்காரர்கள் மேல் பொறாமைப்படுகிறோம் கருப்பாக இருக்கக்கூடியவர்கள் வெள்ளையாக இருக்கக்கூடியவர்களை பார்த்து பொறாமைப்படுகிறோம் கூலையாக இருக்கக்கூடியவர்கள் உயரமான இருக்கிறவர்களை பார்த்து பொறாமைப்படுகிறோம் ஒல்லியாக இருக்கக்கூடியவர்கள் குண்டாக இருக்கக்கூடியவர்களை பார்த்து பொறாமைப்படுகிறார்கள் படிக்காதவர்கள் படிப்பவர்களை பார்த்து பொறாமைப்படுகிறார்கள் பணம் இல்லாதவர்கள் பணக்காரரை பார்த்து பொறாமைப்படுகிறார்கள் ஆக யாரும் அனைவருக்கும் அந்த நம்மள் படைத்தவன் நம்மை படைத்தவன் ஒவ்வொருவருக்கும் தேவையான திறமைகளையும் சக்திகளையும் கொடுத்திருக்கிறார் அதை நினைத்து நாம் பெருமைப்பட்டு வாழ வேண்டும் மற்றவர்களைப் போல் வாழ வேண்டும் என்று ஒப்பிட்டு பார்க்கக்கூடாது பொறாமைப்படக்கூடாது இதுதான் இந்த கதையினுடைய தத்துவம்